good. It's a good step. What's the best part about getting back to work after being uh, away for four and a half months from this? Yeah, just just that getting back to work, getting you know, getting that energy back in here, and uh, you know. You get to day one of camp. Everybody's excited to get going. They've done a lot of work through the through the uh, through, you know the off season, and uh, you know they've they've been chomping at the bit to get out there. So it was uh, you know it was a good day for them just to get out and, and get a real good work day under their belts. How much did pace match uh, expectations? Well, you know that excitement and energy always comes through in in pace early on, you know, and then it becomes a little bit of a, a mental battle with conditioning and, and being able to finish. Whether it's a, a long practice or, or you know a, a long scrimmage, um, you know, or a little bit of a skate at the end, so um, the energy and pace was good. The effort was really good. Um, you know, we're happy with that. You know, to, going along with it, it's day one, so there's there's lots of work to do. How much more of a running start do you have this year as opposed to last year, where you had to install everything? Yeah, it's a different situation. You know, we still have a lot of work to do. We were, we you know, as, as you look around the room, you're going to see a lot of uh, you know, new names that weren't in this dressing room at the end of last year. So, you know, we still have, uh, you know, we have that as, you know, an opportunity and a challenge. Um, but we, you know, certainly we're, you know, we're, we're quite a ways ahead of where we were starting last year, just in terms of uh, people, systems, uh, everything all included. Where would you like to see the most improvement? Where, where do you think it's going to come from over the last year? Every piece of our game. You know, in, uh, I mean, saying that, you know, I mean, there's, you know, the, the work ethic uh, and the tenacity of our team was really good last year. This team kept coming back. There was, uh, you know, they competed through uh, throughout the entire season. Um, you know, there, there were a few games that we looked at each other and said that wasn't good enough, but there weren't very many in terms of effort. So our defensive effort and structure, um, you know, continued to be very good throughout the second half of the year. Um, you know, we, we need to find ways to be better offensively. And, you know, part of that is uh, some some of our personnel and the additions that we have. Um, but also, you know, a, a big part of that is just, uh, you know, being better in some of the areas uh, in terms of getting inside uh, and, you know, finding some of those scoring opportunities. When, when you speak of some of those new additions on, on offense, <clears throat> how do you go about figuring out who, who's going to go where? You've got a lot of options. Oh, we saw, yeah, we saw, we saw day one. You know, we saw day one of options, which I'm not going to put a whole bunch of weight on, just because of some of the previous things I talked about. You know, with uh, with energy, excitement, fatigue, things like that. But um, you know, we're going to give some of the combinations. You know, always I like to give them. You know, a little bit of time together. I don't want to just mix and match. Um, you know, from day to day. So we'll we'll give everybody a couple days together, and then look for you know some different combinations. The biggest part of that is going to come during the uh, the preseason once we get into games, um, and you can see, you know, some, you know some momentum build from a practice to a game to another practice. When you look at somebody like Matty Beneers, are you along the lines being more inclined to, to ease him into situations, or would you just like to? Well, let's right yeah, let's you know, let's see what this you know what the you know what the season brings. But Matt, Matty looks you know to me, he's he's ready to he's ready to you know jump into his spot. Um, you know, there's there's going to be challenges that come with that. You know, there's there's going to be some days when things probably go really well. There might be a few days when they don't go quite as well. But the biggest thing in being ready, you know, for for that challenge and um, you know for some of the ice time that he's going to see and some of the matchups that he'll run into with that ice time, uh, you know, is just his uh, his mental maturity and and you know his belief in himself as as a person. Um, so he's he's ready. Um, you know, and, and along with that, like I said, there's there's always challenges that come with that with being a young guy in this league, especially up the middle, but he's ready to meet those challenges. Dave, you've got six preseason games and then a break before the opener. Would you like to get some of those pairings and line combinations done by the end of the sixth game? Yeah, well, it's, you know, that's that's our goal. Uh, if we can, you know, if we can find uh, even a couple of games together, that'd be a huge benefit. But, you know, in saying that, you know, it's, it, you know, there's still going to be a work in progress as we get into the regular season. Um, you know, when you look at six, six exhibition games, I mean, those are going to go by really quickly. You know, the first two come up here in a few days, they're back to back. We're going to get a lot of guys in. It's one of the big things. We want to make sure there's opportunity for everybody here. Um, you know that opportunity isn't always equal, but we want it. You know we want to try to give guys that have put the work in. Uh, we want to try to give them fair opportunity. Um, 
you know, and part of that is earning exhibition games. So, you know, I'm hopeful that uh, we'll see, we'll see a lot of different faces uh, in those first two, three exhibition games because that'll mean the guys have you know have earned their way into those games. Brandon Tanev said he missed these guys. What's happening? The healthy turbo mean here to the room? Oh, it's just great having him uh, on the ice. Number one, you know, and today, you know, I liked the way he he dove back in. He, uh, you know, he he was playing through traffic, um, and you know, he uh, it, that's a good first step for him and a, and a good day one. But um, you know, as you guys know, he brings a little bit of energy everywhere he goes. So it's uh, it's nice to have that back in the room. Is the plan for this year's camp very different from last year? Just I mean, last year's everything was brand new, right? So going into it this year, like, are you kind of diving into the more systematic approach um, a little quicker? There's still a mix. Um, it's different, you know, no question. It's different, um, but you know, in saying that, you still have to do the work. There's there's a there's a baseline and a foundation of work that you have to do in terms of uh, making the switch real quick from. You know the uh, the training mentality and and some of the you know the some of the summer hockey mentality. You flip that switch, and that's what's today what today is about. And I'm really happy with what the guys did in that regard. There's a conditioning element, um, you know, and then along with that, there's there's systems and uh, and chemistry. So all of those elements, you know, are at play here over you know a very short period of time. When we play our last game in Calgary, I think in 15 days, 14 days, something like that. Whatever it is, it's a short period of time. So we've got a lot, uh, you know, a lot of things, a lot of good things to happen during that time. Well, what have you learned about Shane in the time you've seen him on the ice and getting to know him since the draft? Well, he's he's a, he's an outstanding young man. Um, he, you know, he's a guy that's really well liked, you know, by uh, by the guys in the room. He's got an easy way about him. Um, you know, he's 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 obviously done you know some work because uh, coming in you know through a you know a short day of testing, he you know he did a good job there. And I like what, you know I like what we've seen on the ice both through the two days of rookie camp and the way that you know he's been able to maintain uh, his level and pace of play. Uh, and then again today. What are your thoughts on, on naming a captain? <clears throat> you know, it's something, honestly, we haven't sat down and talked a lot about between Ron and myself. Um, right now, we've got our uh, four guys with the, with, uh, with the A's. Um, and, you know, if we decide to make a change uh, and, and name a captain, whether it be through preseason or throughout the season, we'll, we'll do that. But right now, I'm really comfortable with the group that we have uh, and, you know, just the, the continued ability to grow our leadership group from within uh, inside of this dressing room and then having that carry itself out onto the ice. What do you think is a reasonable expectation for this team in, in year two? Let's let's make progress. You know, I sat here, you know, last year and said we want to be competitive every night. And um, if you think we're going to go into day one and, and not have our sights set on competing for a playoff spot, you'd be sorely wrong. Um, I'm not making any predictions. I'm just telling you that we're going to put the work in and, and we're going to have a great mentality. Uh, and we're really excited to you know to kind of undertake that challenge and prove. Uh, you know, improve in every way on what we did last year. Not all of that shows up. Some of the good things that we did last year don't really show up in the point totals. Um, so we've got to, you know, we've got to improve, improve every little piece of our game. Uh, and you know, obviously, we have to have that uh, show itself in the point standings. What did you miss late last year when Jaden was was out for you, and, and having him back now, looking like he's ready to go? He's a guy that. Yeah, you know, he's kind of the guy. He fixes any line you put him on. You know, you, you put him on a line, and that line is um, is going to find success. So, you know, the way he goes about, you know, his business is a little bit under the radar. You know, but it's not for sure. It's not within our group inside of this room, and. Um, you know the things that he does out there to generate possession, um, and more importantly, generate offense off of that possession are really important. So, um, long story short, I, you know he's a hell of a competitor, um, and and he he knows how to get the job done in this league. With so many new faces, how much of the mentality is clean slate this year, start new, start fresh versus? Carry over some of the lessons. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you know, there's there's a lot of great lessons that we can take and that we want to take. Um, we want to make sure that we, uh, you know, we have that fresh feel in terms of opportunity, and that's indi individually and collectively. You know, I want every, you know, every player in the room, whether they were here last year or or new to the organization. Uh, to have that thought process to, you know, like I said, to uh, show us that they've put the work in, come in here every day and with an with a awesome positive attitude uh, and push the bar and, and you know, and, and show us that maybe they can do a little more than they did last year or um, if they're new to the organization, maybe there's something to their game that, uh, you know, that we didn't know about. Um, and, you know, it's up, it's up to the player 
uh, to go out and uh, and create that opportunity for himself. After last year, what did you learn about the community's appetite for hockey? Uh, it's, uh, I think the appetite is uh, it's it's uh, it's voracious appetite. It is awesome. This building. Uh, night in and night out, all the way down the stretch. We we had some we had some tough stretches, uh, and this town still supported us top to bottom all the time. Um, you know this this town is uh, uh, it's an unbelievable sports town. Uh, they love teams that compete and win, uh, and they they love teams that represent the, the the community, the city, and the area well. So that's what we want to be. And you know we had a lot of proud nights last year. We came up short on uh, on a lot of the nights, um, and we want that's that's an area we want to. You know, continue to build is uh, you know just that that feel within the community. Dave, is there something you'd like to see from Groovy during the, during the preseason that gives you confidence that the guy that we saw the second half of last year is more the, the guy that's going to start off this year? There's not any one thing. You know, Groovy's Groovy's a good pro. Um, you know. I, I'm sure I, I think you guys talked to Groovy earlier today. He's a proud guy that uh, that uh, knows what his role is on this team and how important he is to the group in this dressing room. So, you know, I want to see him go about his business, have a positive attitude, go out and work hard, uh, be one of the you know be one of the toughest competitors on the ice, and, and that shows itself a little bit differently when you're a goaltender, uh, but it still shows itself. So, you know, just be himself, be positive, uh, be a great teammate, and, and be a great competitor. You're good. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.